All right. <sighs> First video is called Happy Halloween Short Horror Film. <sighs> it looks sketchy. Um, so we got Happy Halloween Short Horror Film by Social House Films. No, seriously, trick or treat is what they put in the description. Support this channel for new horror short films every month. They dropped this two days ago. We're gonna enjoy this together. It looks like it's in 4K, so we're gonna. Dear Heavenly Father and Lysol Jesus, Clorox Jesus, Disinfectant Jesus, Poison Control Jesus, White Jesus, Black Jesus, Jesus, Mother Goose, anybody out there, we need your help. Trump is trying to kill us all, Lord. And if you don't got headphones in, you're not experiencing what I'm experiencing. Oh, carving park pumpkins. Everybody should definitely be carving pumpkins this year. Just a little enjoyment that we get, you know, family time. Oh, well, happy Halloween. I don't think he wants candy. Oh, I'm out of candy. Of course you're out of um, candy. With some you know, grown man. I can just run out to the store and get some more if you want to come back. Door. I'm sorry I'm talking a lot. I'm just not trying to be scared. Okay. He didn't even say trick or treat. You should know that's suspicious. Did y'all... Y'all ain't even wearing headphones. Pray for this woman. Halloween. Why are you gotta scare <laughs> Oh my gosh. I feel so bad for this lady. Was the pumpkin like that? Or didn't she take that out? Or is she gonna use that as a weapon now? Good job. Whoa. That's crazy. Good job, guys. I love it. Good little spook. Good little good little start. That's crazy. Happy Halloween. Love it. I know there's like a short en like a ending reveal. Of course. I love I love I love movies and shows like that that have like a little thing at the end. Like we ain't done yet. All right, let's get to the next film. Boom. All right, this next one called, it's a short horror, 
horror short film, Creaker. Creaker, I, I hope I'm saying that right. C-R-E-A-K-E-R. -E -E by Alter. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. They be making, they be making movies. Golly. Scary, too. All right. Instant regret already. Oh, uh, okay. Now I know why it's called Creaker. Creak. Er. Creaker. 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 heard something. See? With the headphones on, man, this is par making me paranoid. And your door just opened. No! Why did I got to why do I gotta do this with 3D audio headset? Good job. There's nothing you could do. Get under the blankets. Don't look it in its eyes. Or whatever it is. It's in your room. <sighs> Breathe. Oh my god. Don't look under the bed. Don't look under the bed. Do not look under the bed. Nothing? <gasps> no. No. Don't get back up. Don't get back up. My heart is racing, guys. Please don't scare me. Why am I doing this? Another ghost? It was your brother or sister. Just end it. Just end it. Why is her birthday on a scary day? This song? That's, that song is. Final round. Next video. It's called Quarantine. <laughs> Why not? Why not keep it in theme? Quarantine by David Cat or Jr. Cat or Jr.? I think. It's been three months now since lockdown. That's why I'm using this time to challenge myself to create something out of it. All right, let's check it out. Quarantine. Okay, it's like a paranormal activity vibes. Please don't be an idiot and go check the noise. We just had to do this. What 
did it say? You have two doors? Hide and seek? Why is he checking everything instantly? This is gonna be the last one. Um, last time we checked out a film by Micro Bin Films, if I'm saying that correctly. Um, I believe they, they dropped a, a short horror film not too long ago, two days ago. It's called Alone. So let's check it out. probably just having like you know panic attack because being home alone you never know what could happen so that's kind of probably what she's thinking the worst so maybe she's just gonna go through like the worst of what could happen a throwback. Remember when you was kids and you used to always just run away from the dark <laughs> before? Oh gosh, she's talking to her friends. As soon as he said the grudge. Don't go to bed. You are creeping yourself out. She's paranoid. Okay, and welcome to No Place Like Home to Get Murdered, your favorite true crime podcast. Good job. That's Mike Decker, and that's Emily Cole. And today we are talking about one of the most prolific serial killers in the greater Toronto area, David Case. Hopefully she got some skills. Has she even been 
to sleep. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. She can't even go to sleep because of all this noise. <laughs> Love it. That was good. That was a good little film to end with. You know, sometimes when you're home alone and you get paranoid, you never know what can happen. You know, like when you're in the shower washing your hair and you just never know what can happen when that soap's hitting your eyes. Everybody's been through that, and especially uh, when she did the little light thing where you try to beat the darkness and get straight to your room or wherever you're going to be in light but anyways guys if you get what i'm saying go ahead and comment down below but definitely hit that like button because your boy did have a heart attack with that first video <laughs> this one wasn't as bad i loved it though very creative this this page is genius i love it um hope you guys enjoyed um i'll leave the videos in the de description so you can check out the videos or the page and watch some short horror films yourself but anyways love y'all see you in the next video peace